this scene sponsored by me. I don't know how much of the uh, voiceover is going to come out yeah. because of the wind. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to day two of the holiday recap. Now, yesterday we were out on the motorboat puttering around on Lake Windermere, but today I want to show you what we did the second day that we were there. We were again out on the lake, but this time we took the boat out sailing and it's actually, it's unique. This boat is unique. There are no others like it. It's one of the prototype Royal Navy bosuns from the 60s. Bosun number three. That's how unique it is because if you ever look at uh, boats as you go past uh, like a reservoir or a lake or something like that, you'll see a lot of numbers. It's usually four or five numbers, like 3,000, 30,000, 10,000, something like that. This one is number three. That's how, how unique it is. It's got some design features that aren't on the standard bosons because it's a prototype and a few mod The prototype got modified, but there's 16 different prototypes before they got to the style that they wanted for the main range. And uh, this is one of the early ones, it's an oddity. So we're out sailing this uh, boat on uh, Windermere and here's all the footage from it. So today, Jen, are we sailing? Oh, that's the plan. Gotta get the mast on first. What are we getting there? I'm not one of nature's sailors. Um, I prefer an engine. I am qualified to sail, but that means nothing. that uh, there's a big can boy and um, try as I, I might the boat seems to turn to just head straight for it there it is number 11 yes we're racing nice now as we come into the bay we the boat yeah that's uh, bonus the excellent that bit amazing Trees on, I think it's actually an island. Shall we go and have a look? Oh, I've got to be careful because I'm not very curious. But um, yeah, there's, there's, a, there's several islands, one of which somebody lives on. Cool. In the swallows and Amazon books, it's the basis of the island referred to as Long Island. Nice. Hey guys, we're out sailing today. Well, yesterday was uh, motorboat day. But today, we're sailing because why not? We've got the sails, so it's good fun. Right, it's supposed to be balanced today, so I'm going to move over here and keep the boat steady. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I'm loving it. When I was a kid, I did windsurfing, and this isn't windsurfing, but it is a lot of fun. So, we're going to enjoy today. Thank <laughs> you. 
So things are going to get a little bit tight. There's more people around here. A lot of rented, uh, like, boats and rowing boats. So you just going to have to be careful. Because whilst the steam gives way to sail, um, it's also the case that uh, people who've got no idea how to control a motorboat may not be quite safe. We are moving at some pace. It's very obvious when you've got to the end of the lake like that as a marker. Yeah, looks like. Channel is. It's when you reach certain points in the lake, the wind appears to change direction because it's coming down different valleys. Yeah. So it does make it quite challenging sailing. Hmm. You can't just uh, set it in one direction and go. What about those aircraft we've seen, mate? Yeah. We're thinking it might be, uh, was it a hooker? Yeah. You saw a Hercules in the other one as well. And one of them was a modern one, it was a, a jet. Yeah. Tornadoes and mm. Euro fighter. What, what do we call the Eurofighter? I'm not sure. Dark clouds heading in again. Yeah, I'm gonna well, Jen's just doing the final checks on the trailer to make sure the boat is secured so we can drive back to the campsite, which is literally just over there. <sighs> oh my goodness, we have had such a good day. I don't think today could have gone any better. It's been fantastic. So, we're going to go and find the little uh, play pizza place, which I think is near where we're staying. It makes custom pizzas to order from uh, their own oven. The Lake District is brilliant. Let's go. Well, there you are, guys. What can I say? It was a great day. We went miles and miles. I got sunburned, to be honest with you. In England, got sunburned on those things, and my hat kept flying off. So, there's times when the hat's on, times when it's off. It's because it kept blowing off in the wind. <laughs> I need one of those sailor hats that actually stays on. But anyway, that was a lot of fun. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and I'll see you tomorrow for the next part. Today's video is brought to you by my graphic novels, The Collected Life of Naughty Mouse, Volume 1, All Over the House, Volume 1, and All Over the House, Volume 2. Thank you.